Oh, good morning, gamers. Up until this point, I've been using my keyboard for all the main functions inside my game, and uh, my tiny little pea brain cannot keep track of which keys do what anymore. Today, we're gonna change that. We're adding new buildings, new menus, and best of all, new dog sh code. Of course, we have to start my game progress with some 3D modeling. I made a tree, a big old rock, a berry bush, a wood gathering hut, and a berry gathering hut. The wood gathering hut is just a pile of sticks, but it works for now. And I'm actually pretty happy with my berry gathering hut. Good job, me. You did it. You did a good one. So now that I had all the models done, I could take them and import them into my game and get to work on the actual code for this update. I started by randomly generating the trees, rocks, and berry bushes on the plane. Sometimes, clearly, it's a little scuffed, so that tells me that I need to learn a bit more about random number generation in C++. But for now, it just makes things a whole lot more interesting to look at, so I don't want to cry out of boredom while I'm working on my game. But now that I had those nature models in the game, it was time for me to work on importing the new building models that I made. And uh, like I said, I'm pretty tired of crushing my head on my keyboard trying to remember which key I set to which building. So before I imported those buildings, I got to work on a new UI system so that way I didn't have to do that anymore. For my new UI stuff, I decided to take some inspiration from my boy CSS who has a really cool tagging system where you can add attributes to pretty much any object that exists in HTML. So I figured I'd add a similar system to my game engine and just make it so that way the tags get added to UI objects instead. And then a lot of the calculations that I've been doing by hand up until this point, the game engine will do automatically for me and I will have to do a whole lot less number crunching in the future, which is very good. So then I got to work implementing a set of 10 or 12 tags that'll allow me to test the feasibility of the system. And guess what? It actually went pretty smooth for once. And I know this may come as a shock, but I actually wrote good code that worked decently on the first try. But don't get any ideas. That's not going to be the standard around here. I like overcomplicating things way too much. I did run into one small unrelated issue. When I implemented some code to test out my UI tagging system, I realized that at some point, past me had ripped out the UI rendering functionality from my render engine. Thanks, past me. Super cool. So I quickly implemented a branch of logic to handle UI rendering, and uh, it's pretty disgusting right now, but I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to come through and redo this when I go to make my rendering engine more robust in the future. And yes, that is definitely foreshadowing a future video. But with that rendering re-implemented, I could very quickly see the functionality of my UI tagging system working just right, and uh, I got to work on a new building UI menu. Here's what it looks like in its first iteration. It's pretty basic, but there's a lot of UI features that I have left to implement before it'll get to its perfect form. If I resize the game window, things break a little bit, so uh, I definitely have a few more UI tags to add to make sure that elements are staying in the right spots when things are resized. But hey, now that I've given the old building selection code the boot in favor of this nice new menu, testing and making sure that things are working properly is going to be so much easier. Not to mention the ease of implementation. If I ever need to implement a menu like this again, it's only like 200 to 300 lines of code and it works pretty much first try versus like a thousand lines of code and hours of debugging. So I think this new UI tagging system is seriously going to change how quickly I'm able to add new features to the game, which is awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I have a whole bunch of tasks that I didn't get done due to complexity and necessity for this update. So those will definitely be rolling over into future updates. But for now, I'm actually really happy with the progress. The new menu has really taken this game from just kind of a cheesy tech demo of OpenGL to more of an actual game, which feels really, really nice. And speaking of really, really nice, let's talk about you guys for a second. Since my last video upload, 
you all have more than doubled my subscriber count, which I couldn't be more thankful for. One of my personal goals for 2021 is to make videos a little bit more consistently. So that's why I have made a shiny new Discord server. I would love for you all to come in and pester me about getting my next video done literally all the time. Also, we can talk about coding, 3D modeling, or any random degenerate thing that you want to talk about. So uh, it should be a pretty fun place to hang out. But if you enjoyed the video and you aren't already, please hit the subscribe button. It's free to you and it helps me out so much and I appreciate every single one of you that subscribes. But that's pretty much going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you for some more scuffed game progress here very soon. Bye. Make me play among the stars. Show me what life's like on Jupiter and Mars.